Now that the days are long, daily life is busy here at the hut. Often I am making new pottery, drying meat, and making bricks for future projects. I haven't started a garden this year because I don't have an adequate irrigation system yet, but this year there will be an abundant harvest from the wild plants and trees. The pit where I dig dirt for making adobe bricks is still producing plenty of good clay for pottery projects. I plan to make a lot of kitchen wares for cooking. Making cordage from yucca fibers is a never ending job. I'm going to use about 800 feet or about 240 meters of cordage for a hammock. Most of it is already made, but I will need to make more. In the previous episode of Primal Tendencies, I made a basket fish trap. The frame of the basket was made with desert willow branches like these. I'm using the heat of the fire to bend more desert willow branches to make another fish trap. To weave something as large as a hammock, I am going to need a large wooden frame to weave on. I'm searching for a certain stone and a large juniper branch to fulfill that need.
rhyolite is very easy to turn into a usable cutting tool. However, it is rather fragile and the cutting edge needs to be resharpened frequently. But its ease of use compensates for this.
The first step of the weaving process is to create spacers on the edge of the hammock that will determine the space between the holes of the net. Later in the video this will make more sense.
want to take this moment to thank my friend Doug for sending me this package. This actually arrived eight or nine months ago, but I didn't check my P.O. box for a long time. And so I checked it in December and I found this letter and a few other things. Happy belated birthday. I really appreciate this. He also sent um, some seed, amaranth and sorghum. So he sent this to me to try in my garden here. Here we have sorghum. And this is amaranth. The climate here is really tough to grow things, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna plant some right here in the ground, but I'm not gonna be able to water it all the time. So I'm gonna be depending on mother nature to take care of it. So I hope it'll work. There was a little rain last night, so who knows? He sent me another little thing. This is really cool. He made this, it's made out of wood. I'm impressed, because this is really works well. It's really loud. Thanks again, Doug, and sorry for taking so long to get back to you and sending you my appreciation. And there's one more thing he wrote. It goes like this. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which is indeed the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. That's from the Bible, Matthew 13:31. Beautiful message.